Hey guys, uh, this is Alex Sturgeon with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and I have broken my slash yet again. This time it's the servo, and uh, I figured since I'm going to be fixing it anyways, we might as well do a how-to video. So this is how to fix a uh, or replace a broken servo on a Traxxas slash, but you can also apply this to a Rustler, Stampede, uh, Bandit, actually almost any vehicle. So uh, let's get started. Got my trusty tool here. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do is unplug it from the receiver. So here's your watertight receiver box and steering of course is channel 1. There you go. Now we have to take the waterproof seal apart. Hopefully my screwdriver doesn't die in the middle of this video. That'd be awkward. Okay, we're gonna get the battery out of the way. And on most uh, Traxxas cars, there's tape covering this. It's not actually that necessary other than it just makes sure the wire doesn't ever um, come up and get uh, spliced or anything like that. We're gonna take this out of the receiver box eventually. Come on. There we go. And we're going to pull this through all the way. So we've gone ahead and we've isolated the, uh, the servo. I'm going to change tools here. And now we'll begin taking our servo out. Um, there's four screws holding the old servo in place. Highly suggest that if you uh, really like this hobby, go out and get yourself a uh, motorized screwdriver. It makes your life way, way easier. And it helps your hands not hurt all the time. That being said, I'm just going to use my nice MIP tool here to take the servo uh, horn off, or the servo saver, however you want to call it. And then don't forget this guy. So a lot of times customers that come in with broken servos, um, they tend to forget to take this off and then they have to buy a new servo saver because they'll chuck this, you know, their bad servo. So this is actually part of the servo horn, so make sure you don't throw this away. Okay, this is our crummy, bad servo. Now we'll uh, install our new servo. So, splines going forward, okay? And it's kind of awkward because that means that the leads are on the wrong side, but that's, that's the way it is, so we just deal with it. And we'll start putting him back in. You definitely don't want to over tighten the screws on the servo horns because then you can break it. You can actually break this, uh, these uh, um, ears off your servo. So I usually like to put them back together in a cross pattern and then tighten them down by hand so I don't over tighten it. So we'll take just take our thing and we'll oops wrong way we'll uh, tighten this baby by hand a little bit so we don't mess it up. Come on, there we go. Okay, now we'll string our our servo lead back through. Pliers always help when you have fat fingers like I do. And we'll put him back in our radio box. Now when you're dealing with the stock uh, receiver, it's kind of in the way, so you, you would have to go on basically this side when you're pushing it through, just like, just like this. 
And so now we're through. And now, again, it goes into channel one on your stock Traxxas receivers. There'll be two channel ones ports. It doesn't matter which one you put it in. On this one, of course, I only have one. So we'll plug them in. And we're going to wait to uh, to put the top on because now what we're going to do is center the servo. And this is probably the most important step when you're dealing with replacing the servo. We'll turn our radio on, turn our truck on. So it works. So now what we got to do is make sure that our wheels are straight before we press down on the servo horn to make sure that it's nice and centered. So this is just called centering the servo. And there you go. Close enough, we can always adjust it on the, on the radio a little bit. But now we'll put this back in. I do like to use this, the, the hand tools to tighten down the servo horn onto the servo because if you use a, um, if you use a, uh, a drill, um, you can accidentally break your servo gears if you uh, tighten it down too hard. Okay, so now that that's done, we'll go back to finishing the rest of it. We'll take our O-ring, make sure that it's on there and ready to go. And we'll change back to the right tool here, the right bit, if I can find it. There it is. So first comes the waterproof seal. And then you might ask, hey, how come this isn't servo taped down? And I say, because I'm lazy and it's my car, so it'll be fine. Got your waterproof radio tray goes back in. And now we'll plug her in. Turn it on. And then we just uh, would just adjust with our uh, steering trim. And there you go. I have a working slash. I can now race in our stock slash class once again and get beaten by the Oscar Mayer Wiener truck on a weekly basis. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that didn't take too long for you and hopefully now uh, you've got enough information where you can replace your own servo. So. Thanks a lot.